Welcome back to Fresh Plays. We're supposed to go to the gym right now, but we really want to talk to all the people who are here. We gotta work out, yo. Yeah. We work hey, what's, out. What's your deal, Junko? Junko, why is your model. name Junko? She's a model named Junko. I'm a pile of garbage. <laughs> what was that announcement? It was like, totally creepy. Okay, I don't have much to say. Good. Shit, <laughs> what, the, what hell kind of game are they playing? This game, bro, it's called Dag and Ropa. Yeah, really? What the hell? Is this some kind of bad joke? He has such intense eyes, I love him. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> something something weird is, is going on around here, right? Is that just me? Okay. No, this giant vault is pretty <laughs> weird. Yeah, with the machine guns? Yeah. It's a normal Security high school, cameras. what are you talking about? Let's actually take a look at those machine guns. That surveillance camera has what looks like a gun attached to it. No big. There's no way like. that's a real gun, right? Right? I mean. I am changing right. oh, Kyoko's voice. Yeah, I was going to say. You because I can't do the Minnesota accent. <laughs> so we're changing it up. I know how you feel, but all we can do now is check it out, right? That suits her. All right, that suits her better. Although I, I did so. like how I she has like a warm jacket on and you were doing a Minnesota voice. So that's how she came <laughs> from the Great White North. Right. True. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. I feel like I said this before. <laughs> I'm really afraid that that voice is going to destroy your throat. It will. Right? It already is. Oh, no. Are you okay? Is everyone okay? Oh, he's cute. He's so cute, but he's, he's also he's not a super cute, creep. Look like at his pants. What is he oh, wearing? Oh, buddy, the buddy, fuck? what is happening? Just where is Sometimes here? people's bodies aren't built like yours. <laughs> What's going on there? What is that? It's a, a mailbox. microwave. Oh, there's oh something inside. mailbox. Oh, they said there's nothing inside. All right. All right. I guess I think it's gym time. Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh, there's trophies. Can we get those trophies? trophies? Oh, no, we can't look at the TV. TV. Right oh, 80s TV again. There's a TV. The school. Oh, we yeah. already know this. <laughs> Something feels off. I wonder what. Come on, game. Anyway, let's get out of here. I bet we watch each other die on the TVs. Oh God. Maybe. I mean, yeah. Maybe. Uh, so we got to the gymnasium. I bet you it's this way. <sighs> Is it bathrooms? Good question. Let's check it out. Let's go pooping. I better make my way to the gym. Oh, okay. I'll have time <laughs> to poop. Interested. Gym. Ah. G-Y-M. Gym. Not Gym. how I would have spelled it. Yeah, but. a gym. Why is a gym in this school? Gym? Something's weird. God, I love uh. gym. <laughs> Sometimes when my breath's really bad, I grab some gym and then everything's fine. <laughs> Minty fresh gym. Minty fresh gym. God, I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. <laughs> it really isn't much that much different than the time I spent in juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. When I was 11. Yeah. <laughs> Why isn't anyone here walking through the halls? I didn't see a single person. Isn't that like, seriously not good? The, they are just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down sooner or later, I'm sure of it. All we could do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. What the hell? It ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's You're just get this over with. You got that scare sweat. I got that scare sweat corn hair motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No. Oh. Hey, where's whoever's us called us here uh, disappear? <laughs> Mondo, stop. No running. <laughs> I too shall go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait. Don't leave me here. <laughs> okay. Time for some more tutorial <laughs> oh, action. Oh, my favorite. You press the Y button to observe the room you're in. You don't have to read that. Our observer will display what I like <laughs> how a hamster guy's yeah. uh, boogers ran straight down into his mouth. Yeah, yeah. they did. So gross. Uh, let's take a look at this here sword. Display case. There are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? So this is probably just a tiny fraction of all their awards. Well, they'd like bring their awards to school. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's talk to you. Yoko. <clears throat> mm. Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Maybe she's I'm just a imagining ghost. that. She's a ghost woman. She's actually a ghost. The ultimate ghost. <laughs> Maybe, mm -hmm. yeah. Where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. Huh. I'm sorry if her voice is getting deeper as I go on. It's just easier to do that way. Ah, you do you, boo. All right, let's go. I changed Kyoko <laughs> entirely. True. It's fine. Nothing <laughs> is sacred. Nothing's sacred. St still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. I saw what was waiting for us there. A big ass gun. <laughs> oh, <laughs> normal. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yeah. Kind of nice. Oh, see, I told you, it's totally normal entrance <laughs> ceremony stuff. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Hero was right. But in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Ow. Oh. Hey there, howdy, hello. Oh. Hey you, there, howdy, hello. Is everyone here? Good. Then let's get things rolling. 
Mm. Oh boy. Cut the sinew. Oh, cool. What are we in for? That Give parallax. It to me yeah. Hello, Fred. Oh, it's a bear. <laughs> He's got wings. <laughs> nice placement. Huh. Oh, wait. oh, I don't remember. She Cheers. Oh, she's the programmer. Oh, uh, the teddy bear. I'm not a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> I am Monokuma. One bear. And I am this school's headmaster. Okay. It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was. Oh. What I was seeing was, it was utterly incomprehensible. There's a loading screen. Nice <laughs> to meet you all. There's not loading screens in real life. <laughs> Where am I? Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was totally out of place. My favorite. And all that anxiety I've been carrying around me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Ah! What? what? That teddy bear can talk? I love how his hair shoots straight out. Uh -huh. He like points with his hair. Yeah. Calm down. I'm sure that there is a speaker inside it. I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster. Why move? <laughs> Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep, deeper than the marina trench. My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't regret it or comprehend it. Ah, but you do not make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. <laughs> I couldn't, I just couldn't bear that. Everyone laughs. Yeah. <laughs> bear, bear, oh, really, you are unfortunate. <laughs> now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Building up our riddle? No other stupid bear puns? Quiet down now, quiet down. Okay, so. He's abandoned <laughs> the gag. <laughs> This guy is funny. Yeah. Everyone, stand at attention and bow, and good morning. Good morning! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I love you, Kiyotake. <laughs> you, you don't have to say it back. Now then, let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ever. First, let's talk a bit about your school life here. Well, what your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, you few students, so full of all pot potential... Represent the world and to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines You'll of this school. You'll make babies yeah, together. I, well, we'll weird, repopulate but... Japan. <laughs> Everyone will live in they harmony together it. and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. This music is funky, yeah. guys. Huh? Ah, now that regarding the end date for this communal life. There isn't one! Whoa. In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Why? Such is the school life you've been assigned. But why though? What, what did he just say? Until the day we die? Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for all the commune, common convi convi conveniences <laughs> of a stuttering bear. <laughs> That's the least of our worries right now. Wow, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? Without my cell phone? You're screwing with us, right? <laughs> yeah, you gotta my cell phone. I'm not screwing with you, I'm no liar. Of that, you can be 100% sure. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. No! So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Just because someone hurt you. <laughs> C cut off? Saw those metal plates all over the school? I mean, all you them. need is a really large wrench. Right. Yeah, right? <laughs> they're here to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So, with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Come on, what in the hell is this? <laughs> I do not care if the school or whatever else is behind it all. I just... This is just a bad joke. <laughs> Yeah, cut the shit out. It isn't funny anymore. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. That's well, true. Yeah, yeah, that's you'll so have true. plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Having to live here forever would be... Quite the problem. Come, now, what's the matter with you all? 
You decided on your own free will to attend Host Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave. Oh, but you know. I guess I did forget to mention one thing. Is it death? There is oh one boy. way for you to death? leave the school. Really? As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Do we have to touch your belly button? Because I don't want to. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Let me tell you about this fun gross. little rule. It's like a skittle gets sucked in. As I mentioned, <laughs> in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. So I can just pull the fire alarm? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> if one person were to murder another... M murder? Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, however, doesn't... I mean, it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. The rest is up to you. Give it all... Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. But she'll shut down my spine. You must kill somebody if you want to leave? As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. It's only, it's only one. <laughs> I bet no, it's, that it's, got your brain it's, it's, it's only, only No, Jeff, it's only one. It's fine. <laughs> Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? What? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know. Bear, we don't get bear references. <laughs> taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. And I just find that so darn exciting. What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other, is it? To kill each other is to kill each other. I, I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere <laughs> if you read it. If you need it. It is a read school. It. Yeah. Well, we know what it means. It's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Yeah, stop blabbering out about this nonsense. Just let's go home already. Blabbering? Oh. oh. Blabbering, blabbering. What do you mean, blabbering? Stop blabbering on a blabbering, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go. I keep on saying the same thing over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world, got it? I say, like, try it out. Yeah. And you can kill as much as you want to kill, so go ahead and go on a k k k killing spray. All right, come on. How long do you keep this up? Eh? <laughs> you got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So just go ahead and reveal the trick now. Re reveal the trick? Yeah, because, I mean, you know, this is awesome kind of trick and all. It's so like, uh... Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Kill the bear. Shoving Hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of the Mo Mono Kuma, his voice rumbling like Mondo, thunder. Mondo, kill the bear. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? Look at my right eye. Yeah, joke? Really. <laughs> what? You mean like your hair? Oh, no! Sick burn! Ramen what? burn! Corn burn! Mono rode out, and then there was a sudden boom. The sound of the floorboards as he kicked off, whoa, and launched himself into the air. <laughs> he flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Oh! Oh, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, you little piece this of- This is me, I believe. Oh, sorry. <laughs> gotcha, you little piece of shit. I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds. Wow, violence against a headmaster is in violation of school regulations. Shut the fuck up. Let me out of here, I swear to Christ. I'm a Christian, you see. Uh-oh. Uh he got a text. What? No smart house come back this time? Pick up your phone. Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out. Get rid of it. <laughs> huh? Hurry up and throw it. I don't know if for ferocity stunned him to silence or what, but without a word, he did it as he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did... A tiny explosion! <laughs> <laughs> the hell? That sure shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ring in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. Oh, no. Explosions might not happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life or anime, which is real life... I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> but you know, this means that the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? I told you, I'm not a teddy bear, I'm Monokuma. 
One bear. Hello. <laughs> I love the Looney Tunes sound effect as it comes back. Well, <laughs> there's another one. You son of a bitch. You seriously tried to kill me just now. Well, yes. I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or naughty girl who violates my rules <laughs> won't get off with just a little <laughs> swat on the buttocks. Takes a lot more to get me off. Uh, <laughs> oh, so does this mean there's like a bunch more of them around somewhere? Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught, caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> And I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. That's not even a punishment. That's just wrong. Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook. I thought Pretty it was cool, a credit card. Huh? Yeah, me too. As you, can you can buy see, whatever you want from the general <laughs> store. <laughs> it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the e-handbook. Uh. <laughs> well, yes, moving on. I like how he's is, kind of lame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> kind of got lame puns. This handbook is all, uh, absolutely vital to the healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Anyway, oh yeah, always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it. It'll keep on ticking. It's kind of great. And yeah, thanks I know. to its space-age design. I'm, I'm liking this, guys. <laughs> it's this a good is life. a fun time. Yeah. There's no sun, but it's okay. Yeah, who needs it anyway? I got fluorescence. <laughs> it's very resistant. It contains all of your school, all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school rules, regulations, will not be tolerated. Rules restrict, yes. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Kinda true. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violating. I gotta say, if you cover up the right side of the screen, yeah. and listen to all this, it's really quite, it's like a nice <laughs> PSA. <laughs> all right, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya. Wow. <laughs> and with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So, guys, how would you define what we what? just experienced? <laughs> huh, what? I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever or kill? What? What just happened? Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's take a second to summarize everything <laughs> we heard. Yes, please do. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is? If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? Celeste is going to do it. Yeah. But, but killing someone, that's... We were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is... Oh, no. This is... What is oh, no. this? <laughs> A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard, this all has to be fake. Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is, is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? Celeste is seriously considering all <laughs> this. Celeste, <laughs> nobody had Celeste a response. Celeste is number one. <laughs> like we know that she's going to kill someone. I think the moral compass guy, I bet he's got a dark side. I bet, he can, all... justify, I bet he can justify in his head uh, that it's like, okay. I think yeah. all of them have two sides of the coin. Yeah, have, have the potential. Yeah. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around the others. Like I can see, I can see writer girl just like losing her shit and oh, stabbing yeah. repeatedly, being like, "Ah, mm -hmm. someone hurt me." They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. <laughs> I realized the true yep. terror hidden within the rules of Onokuma I laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everybody else. We were forced to wonder: Is somebody gonna betray us? No. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Now it's how my new school life began. Cornhead just like stabs people with his <laughs> pompadour. <laughs> Which come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope, it's school, school of, of despair. despair. Save point. <laughs> yeah, really. Would you like or to save like your despair? Chapter, yeah. Welcome to despair. Silko man. Oh, nice milk. The oh, end. milk splatters. Milk splatters. <laughs> Ooh, surviving students. Oh, oh shit. The countdown begins. Okay. Fun. To be continued. All right, well, I think... Uh, 
I guess I got time to say when we come back. When we come back. When we come back. Our exploration begins. And uh, Bullet will hit the screen and... Oh, oh this is just the, <laughs> oh, is this the yeah. intro to the game? Yeah, it just it drops this. Oh, shit. Oh, did you skip it? Wow, rude. Yeah. We were going to enjoy the opening title sequence, but no. Um, you hit sorry. A. I'm I just... the worst. <laughs>